Joining me right now, Progressive Radio host and Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and American Majority CEO Ned Ryan. Good to see both you guys. Hey, Trent. Ned, it, you know, you look at this and face value here, it, it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's seven it, countries that President Obama also identified as problems. He's it, putting a temporary ban. Uh, shouldn't we want to do this to it, make exactly. sure everybody is as safe as possible? No, exactly. And I think the thing that was interesting over the weekend to see the left's response and the media's response hysterical, devoid of reason, devoid of facts, devoid of historical perspective. You're right, Trish. This list of seven states was compiled by Obama's deputies back in 2015. These seven states are either official state sponsors of terrorism or safe havens for terrorism. And the thing that I, I really want to make a point is this is not a ban on Muslims. Eight of the ten largest countries with the largest Muslim populations are not banned. This is a common sense approach. And here's the thing, it's only 90 to 120 days, depending on whether it's a look at these countries or the refugees. This is a common sense approach. America first. Let's protect American citizens. I think the thing that's been interesting to see, Trish, with this response, again, devoid of fact and reason, kind of plays into Steve Bannon's hands when he made that comment in the New York Times that the press is playing the opposition party role. He says that, and then literally within 24 hours, here they go, playing the role of the opposition well, okay, party. So the, so the press does not like Donald Trump. The left does not it, like Donald Trump. Exactly. And anything that he does is going to get scrutinized in a way that, well, let's just say, held to a different standard than, say, Barack Obama would have been held to. Uh, but Leslie, as you look at all this and you see the hysterics and you see the protests and people freaking out and thinking that this is some kind of new America, what's your response? Well, I'm sorry. I'm one of those that's hysterical, you might say. And one of the reasons for that is even Rudy Giuliani said this is a backdoor Muslim ban. The seven nations that we have blocked the individuals and detained these individuals from, none of them have individuals that have committed terrorist attacks on American soil. Okay, can I stop you on that? Can I, can I just stop you on that? Because I've, I've heard that yes. uh, from, from multiple people. And I've got to tell you, you know, you go overseas, Leslie, you look at what has happened in Europe. And you look at the hundreds of lives that have been lost as a result of these terrorists that have trained overseas in places like Syria, and they come back, whether to Belgium, whether to France, and they're launching Germany. these attacks. So to say, well, it's never happened. Leslie, it could. And shouldn't we be doing everything in our power to prevent it? Well, what I think is interesting is that the Muslim countries that aren't on the list are all countries where our president has business dealings. Oh, when we look come at the on. hijackers on 9-11, the majority of hijackers came from Saudi Arabia. If we want to be safer, we need to stop. Okay, so this is a complaint. Okay. No, no, Ned, this is, this is this a country. complaint that people on the left are making. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a distraction, they but live in an alternate hang reality. on, people are no, asking why is it that he only selected these seven and he didn't make it broader. Was this, Ned, because he didn't want it to be a Muslim ban, that he wanted to just segregate out these seven countries, which Obama had already identified exactly. as known sponsors of terror that have no idea who's actually in their countries to begin with? Exactly. No, I think this is a very responsible first step. Again, Obama compiled this list. Trump basically, he just duplicated the list. I think it's a step in the right direction. Actually, Trish, to be honest, I don't think it went far enough, but it's a first step in the right direction. Well, I direction. wonder if he's also putting all those other countries on notice saying, listen, I, you got to know who's there. Exactly. Because if you don't, we're going to ban you as well, at least temporarily. Leslie and Ned, thank you so much. We